What is going on, Pokemon community? It is Poke Collector NYC here, back at it again. Today is actually going to be an awesome day. Uh, I have a vintage mystery box that I got from uh, Pause Joker Games. Uh, if you haven't heard of Pause Joker Games, they are a great Pokemon uh, seller um, out in California. I will put a link to their uh, shop below. Uh, thanks so much for coming on to the channel. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hitting that notification bell and smashing that like button. It really does go a long way. Um, what's awesome about this one, it is strictly, it was a vintage uh, mystery box that they were doing a great sale on for Black Friday. Um, they have a ton of other product, like new product and some old vintage products. They have Burger King products from back in the day, uh, which we may see here. Um, I'll go ahead and open the letter up in a bit. Um, but before we get into the box, we have a couple of, I know that is kind of like a little shifty here, uh, but we have three Vivid Voltage that we're going to open up real quick um, of these blisters, just because, uh, you know, uh, they're just been out there. I've had them and I need to get rid of them. I hope you're enjoying your holiday season. Hope you got some great sales in some of the uh, holiday, during the holidays. I hope you get some great Pokemon product. Uh, I know everyone is excited for... Um, Shining Fates, which, you know, the, what, I mean, what do you think about that? Uh, the, the name of the product. Uh, I know there's over a hundred shinies in that one. Uh, that is going to be the set of 2021. I think that, I don't think that anyone else is really going to care about any of the other sets that comes out until obviously they announce it, but, uh, that is the one that everyone's going to focus on. All right, let's see if, what we can do here in Vivid Voltage, just because we have three of them. We'll do this. And then we'll go ahead and um, uh, open up the vintage uh, mystery box. All right, here's a code card. I give away every single code card in every single video. If you're new to the channel, we do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So tune in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, let's see what we got here in these three packs before we dive into the vintage one. And then we'll also see what the total value of that box is afterwards. All right, we have a Sableye, a Dewat. Ooh, is there something hiding in the back? I think uh, we have a hit here. Duskull, Voltorb, Weedle, Reverse Whalemare, and then the rare in this first one's going to be. Oh, Alkazam V. Oh, wow, I actually really wanted this one. This is a fantastic full art. This is the only full art I was just hoping to get, actually. And that's beautiful. Out of a blister. That's how you start a video. There you go. Welcome, Alakazam V, to the party. I can't wait to add that to the binder. That is going there for now. All right. We still need the uh, Hyper Rare uh, Pikachu V Max, as well as a couple of amazing rares. Um, it doesn't really matter if the code cards are green or white uh, in this one, because you can get an amazing rare in a white code as well. So we start off the, this video really strong with that Alakazam V. I am actually digging that Alakazam V because that's that's the one I really want out of this set. Really the only one. Reverse Zygarde and then our rare is going to be a Tornadus Holographic. All right, two for two. We got a Holographic and a V. Um, so can we close off this third blister pack with something uh, crazy here? Let's find out. Code card for you. And then here we go. One, two, three, four to the back. And what do we got here? We have a Shukul. Shuk there it is. Uh, Drillbur, Whalmer, Cottony, Clavopus, Electrike, Reverse Excedrill, which is a, not a reverse rare, I thought it was, and the rare is going to be an Electros. Okay, so two out of three, one holographic, one uh, V, not too shabby here on the channel. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the box now, because I know that this is actually going to be very exciting. Now, these weren't cheap boxes, so we'll see if we get our uh, return on this, but... You know, when you're when you're buying these, they do say here the mystery box will include 30 cards total, one vintage PSA card, one guaranteed vintage hollow card, Wizard of the Coast, one guaranteed base at Chalice card, non-holographic, three first edition vintage cards, non-holographic, uh, one vintage rare star symbol, non-hollow, which we all know what that is, 22 vintage uncommon and commons, one Burger King gold plate. Okay, so it does include it. One Burger King gold plate card with po uh, gold plated card with Pokeball. Uh, let's see what it says there. Uh, new in the box of sealed. Okay, so it's a sealed product. One Burger King first movie toy, which is actually pretty cool. And then one random sealed vintage pro promo card. And then a lot of other surprises. 
uh, thrown into this wave. So this is pretty cool. It was, uh, it was I, I normally don't buy these uh, ever. This is actually my first one. So for me to buy this, I am kind of curious to see what they come with. And if you want their info, there they are. Uh, check them out on their website and on Instagram. Um, but let's see what we have. All right. All right, so the, so the main thing here is actually pretty cool. So you do get the uh, the Pokemon, the first movie toy from Burger King. That's pretty uh, awesome. It's still packaged. I don't even know how they get them, to be fair. And then here's a cool one. Here's the uh, Gold Plate Limited Edition uh Pokemon thing from um, from Burger King from way back when. So I don't have this. I don't have any of these anymore, I don't think, but it is still sealed and we won't know what it is. So I may open this up down the road, but I'm gonna keep this sealed for now. That is pretty awesome. Um, but if you look here in the box, let me just put this back in the box because I don't wanna really do too much. Uh, I hope I didn't do anything with it. All right, so. It does come with either a Charizard, a Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Poliwhirl, Mewtwo, and Togepi. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, uh, maybe we'll open up this at the end. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. And then, okay, you have, okay, so that's, that's really the box. Okay, so it's a really small box in terms of, uh, you know, what they have in there, but we'll see what they give us. I'm just going to move around some things so we, everything's a little bit closer um, but what they, what it comes with, I am very curious to see if we get our return from this. All right. So there is a bunch of things in here. Obviously they have what they've written out, what they had. Uh, let's see here. What do we have here? So we know that's the PSA card in this one. So we're going to keep that one there. We have the vintage hollow card, which we keep there. This is the vintage cards, non-holographic, and then a surprise from us. Okay. We'll keep the surprise the side. Let's go look. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the vintage cards are, the non-holographics uh, in this, because I am very curious to see what they give you. I mean, it's cool that they, you know, uh, to have a vintage uh, kind of. Um... Ooh, I already saw. Okay, so let's let's do. Uh... I already saw a rare, so we'll just go ahead and put this like this. All right, so, okay, so they have the sleeve ones. I'm assuming those are holographic. So they're not in the, not all of them are in the best conditions, but that's okay. But let's go ahead and take a look what we have here. All right, so nice some nice vintage vibes. I hope you have a great holiday season. I hope you're enjoying the video. But we have a Sabrina's Ab Abra, that is nice. Ooh, Jungle Rapidash, Jungle Primate, Misty's Horsey, Sabrina's Abra, Sabrina's Jinx, Golem from Fossil. Okay, we got some Fossil ones in there. Geo, dude. Oh man, I hope you are enjoying these nice vintage vibes from 1999. We have the Rhyhorn, a Rapidash, Persian. I mean, you gotta appreciate the artwork. Oh, we got some base set in here and Team Rocket. Uh, I may need to. Uh, what are the, what is the condition of the Team Rocket ones though? Uh, it's actually pretty good. It's not terrible. Uh, Diglett, Eric is oddish. And then Ekans. All right, so you you know that was I believe our um, if I'm not mistaken, how many cards came in here that were non holographic? Oh, nope, that's not the. It is all right. So they said it was going to be 22 vintage commons and uncommon. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. Yeah, 22 vintage uh, uncommons and commons. And then you have, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Vintage Rare. And then we had some a couple of first editions as well. So we have a Vintage Rare right here, which is the uh, Magneton. Let's go ahead and take a look at the condition. So it, it does look like it's slightly damaged, but it's not terrible. Uh, I think this is still uh, a nice quality card. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones we have here. All right, so I believe this is the Shadowless Voltorb, which is pretty awesome. You could tell, just if you can't tell with the difference between a Shadowless and a uh, Unlimited Edition, you could just see how it's thinner uh, from the print there. So that is a, we got a Voltorb Shadowless, which is, I believe, the one uh, Shadowless guaranteed base set card that we were given. Um, and then we got a couple first edition stamps. We have the Diglett uh, first edition. 
and Slowpoke first edition and then Tentacle first edition. All right, so here's our first edition cards. These are pretty awesome. Um, I like the I like the first edition quality of these. Uh, from overall, if you look at the back, these look pretty mint. These are these look great. Uh, just looking at it off the top of my head here. You know, this one has a slight dink on it, but it's not terrible. All right, so those were our three first editions, our Shadowless, and our one guaranteed uh, rare uh, that is an unlimited version from Fossil. We have the Vintage Hollow card and then the PSA card. So let's go ahead and take a look at what our Vintage Holographic is. I am, uh, ooh, it's in a nice little... Oh, it's in one of these, uh, I actually use this as well. It does look like in pretty fantastic shape. I don't actually know what it is, so let's find out in three, two, one. Oh, a Heracross from, I believe that's Neos. That is a fantastic holographic to get. I don't even know, wow, that is from, if you look here, 2000. That is a, can you see the quality? I don't know, is there a swirl on this one? I cannot tell off of this, but this is in fantastic shape. Oh, I don't know, I don't have this one in my collection. So that is a nice one. We're gonna go ahead and put that to the side there. That is crazy. I am so glad I, I got this already. I mean, we'll, we'll, We'll tally up the values. Okay, so this is a surprise gift. So that's free from them, from uh, Pause Jokers. So they, they threw this in here. There's a bunch of randoms. So, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it looks like we have a bunch of other things in here. All right, so we got a Pop Series 9. That is a great uh, promo that they give away. Uh, you know, this is from, uh, what, year 2009. So this is already 11 years old. That's a nice bonus right there. Um, you have a, uh, legendary birds, uh, card in here. This is one of those promos. Um, we'll see what this is. We'll open this one up. And then what do we have here? Ooh, some more promos. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what these are. These are the, some additional surprises. Again, these are, uh, surprise gifts from Paz Joker Games. We'll go ahead and see what they are. So uh, I believe this is also in the Pop Series set. This is a, a nice valued card. We have a Venusaur, a Raquaza Holographic. I do need to sleeve these up. Blaziken, that is from, again, 2006, 14. I think these are all from the Pop Series. Yep, Metagross from the Pop Series. And then a Tauros Holographic from the Pop Series. All right, so let me go ahead and sleeve these up. These are pretty awesome. Um, these are all near mint. I know that they, they get these all basically near mint in uh their shop because they open a bunch of these uh but we'll go ahead and look at the value of all of this we'll tally this up and see if we got our value out of this uh shortly but let's just go ahead and take a look at this first off this Raquaza is nice i i love Raquaza and i don't even have this i think this is from pop series one if i'm not mistaken yeah this is from pop series one uh, but these are all pop series uh, uh you know freebies that they throw in there so that's pretty nice um, so we had a couple from Pop Series 1 and Pop Series, let me see here. So we have Pop Series 1, Pop Series 1, Pop Series 1. This is from Pop Series 2 and Pop Series 2. I know Venus Rush is like a $70, $7 card anyway. So that's awesome. All right, we're going to have put those to the back. Um, let's go find out what we got out of this before we open up the uh, PSA card. Because I am digging the PSA. That's really why I wanted to get this. So Legendary Bird, what, what did we get out of this? Let's find out. Go ahead and open this up. Now, I don't remember what year this came out in. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know what it was, but it, it is. It could either be uh, Zapdos, Articuno, or Moltres. So let's go. And it's still in its perfect condition. So it gets you this little lead card. And then what do we have? What do we have? Can it be, I'm hoping, for a Zapdos? But let's see. Okay, it's Articuno. Articuno promo. That is nice. That's pretty awesome. I do have... Uh, we're going to go ahead and sleeve this up. This is from... Um, Pokemon 2000, the movie, I believe. So that is awesome. Okay, we're going to put that to the back as well. We're also going to sleeve this up because this is this is cool. This is a nice little uh, addition that they gave us, which I, uh, you know, I think these are pretty awesome. All right, so the final thing we're going to open is the PSA card. And I want to make sure that 
I don't give away what the PSA number is. Uh, I'm gonna take a, first off, we gotta guess what, we're gonna see what the card is, and then we're gonna see what the grade is. I'm just trying to see what the, uh, is it this? Oh, okay, so we, we kinda already know what it is, just based off that back. Um, but let's go ahead and just confirm it. Let me just make sure I kind of block off. All right, it is the ancient Mew card uh, from back in the day. So we'll go ahead and check out the value of this when we get a chance. And let's see, uh, I mean, in base, it looks like an eight or a nine, just based on the, I'm trying to look on the back here. Ooh, this is actually pretty clean. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. What do we think it's gonna be? It is, Dun-dun-dun, dun-dun-dun. Oh, it's a nine, okay. So it's a PSA nine, Ancient Mew. That is not too shabby. That is a nice looking card over there. PSA nine, Ancient Mew promo from Pokemon 2000, the movie. Not bad, not bad. All right, so well, let's go ahead and see what the overall value uh, is of these and see if we um, got our money. All right, and we're back. So we want to be able to see if we got our, um, we got some value out of this box. Obviously, you know, kudos to um, Pause Joker Games. They they did give a hell of an experience when it comes to uh, opening it. It's definitely a great box. I do recommend you do get that from an experience perspective. But we'll go ahead and take a look at all the different things on there and see what their value is um, from a. Uh, collector's item so we could look at all the prices to see what was worth it what was not let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you could see what the uh total uh cost was all right so so for the uh first edition Slowpoke right there was actually a three dollar card you have a diglett first edition team rocket which was a five dollar card uh magneton coming in at around 5.99 these are all by the way prices based on ebay uh, you had you had the uh, Pop Series 9 pack, which is this one, uh, which we're going to keep sealed. Uh, Pop Series 9 uh, coming in at $7.99. Uh, I don't know why this first edition tentacle was actually a more expensive item from the list. Because you can see there's $8. Shadows Voltorb coming in an average about $9.99. Uh, you had the Articuno Black Star promo coming in around $10.00. Although some people are putting this up for about $20, but we kept it uh, 20 on the low. And uh, we had the uh, Burger King uh, toy. So this thing right here, which we are going to keep sealed, uh, coming in at around $15. I uh, don't know what's inside. It's kind of like surprise. It's kind of like the point. Um, you had the non-holographics, which is the 22 cards there. In their current condition, you know, valued at around... 15 bucks. Uh, I believe that's where I parted at. The Pop Series, um, which are these cards right here, Pop Series 1 and 2 uh, promos or holographics that you had in there, they are around $15 in total. These ones uh, are based on TCG Player, on the uh, based on the condition. Um, so I actually didn't realize it. Um, duh. Um, this cl Clearly this one, uh, the gold-plated trading card, is Togepi, and Togepi is going for around 20 actually if i am not mistaken 20 dollars. that's right um the interesting thing here which could be the big factor is that this is currently going on ebay which is a great neos holographic for 20 dollars. however if it becomes a psa 10 it is a 349 dollar card if it is a psa 9 it's still about 100 to 150 dollar card so this we are going to be submitting to psa we will see how that works out and then last but not least we did get the 2000 pokemon game promo ancient mew from the pokemon 2000 movie uh as a psa 9 and currently that is going up for an average of 129.99 now the total for this if we sum this up is dun dun dun, dun 200 the value of it is 264 dollars and 96 cents uh now based on what i purchased for the box it does exceed the value of the box not by a lot i think in my opinion but still you just get your value out of it it is what it is it is a, a 264 box let's just round it up to 265 pretty good value 
out of it. Again, it exceeds what you what we initially purchased for it. It's a nice little variety. Overall, as an experience, it is a great product. And then, of course, we did get this Alex V, which we're going to be adding to our Vivid Voltage collection, which will be nice. Um, but thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Tune in next time. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell, and smashing that like button. Uh, and have a great rest of your holiday season.